Wait a minute. All right, let's see what's going on. First in our eighth feature wait, match wait, 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 in wait, the blue chair from Olathe, Kansas, Dakota Darpinian. He wants to give a shout out to his cats, Frankie and Cheeto. <laughs> Against him in red chair from Kansas City, Bruce Menard. If you need help with your wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Dakota Darpinian. He's six and one. He's six and yo. Press one if legit if, if low key legitimate deck. He's six and one, chat. It's, it, this is not like round yo. Okay, hold on. now now I gotta watch this because like it'd be one thing if this was like uh the they put Mimigul on stream chat round one, which he just found, that player found every way possible chat to lose that duel. It was it was crazy. Game two, yeah, he just got like blown out because his deck really didn't do that much. But game one, he had him under Tikaboo, and he found every way imaginable, chat. The uh the Mima goal player just found every way imaginable to lose the duel. It, it was I, I was flabbergasted. Like he didn't make SP Little Knight to banish the dudes, um, to like banish his princess and stuff, unless he banishes Little Knight from prosperity which is well, i don't know why you would do that you know it's a new island he just he made he made like five different misplays uh but whatever he punted again no, no i thought it, i know i think he got too old but i i want to see this chat because if adding fiend smith to exodia can make it like viable i i think i might have to do it chat he wants to give a shout out to his cats frankie and cheeto it wants to give a, a shout out to his cats all right let, let, let's see what this deck can do only took Fiend Smith um, to take the Exodia deck this far. That's pretty good, but we have to cut I said one I want to see if he would. Well, hold on. What's the synergy? Someone's chat. Someone. Okay, okay. What's the synergy, chat? Or press one if he doesn't actually play Exodia cards. Like low key, he doesn't play. Ex that, that's it. Okay, that, that's what I think. I think he doesn't actually play Exodia. I think he just plays the Millennium cards, chat. Because putting Exodia here is clickbait. That implies that he plays Ankh and that he plays like the Fusion and the Exodia pieces. But you, if you play the, once you activate Ankh chat, you have to shuffle all your monsters back into the deck. So like, it doesn't make sense to do any Fiendsmith stuff unless you're just using it for Beatrice to dump cards into the graveyard. I got baited. Bait hand traps. I mean... I guess you don't have to activate Millennium Ankh chat, but then it's like, why are you even playing Exodia stuff? So yeah, I, I feel like he's not playing Exodia. Exodia, the Forbidden One. The Infinite Forbidden just releases weekend and that Forbidden Word's kind of yeah, I feel like Exodia. This is got a brand new fusion, the, old, the unstoppable Exodia incarnate, and now we're gonna get to see it in action. One more piece. One more. Okay, it's not that kind of Exodia, but still, it's cool to see uh, the, the pieces come together and actually go into a duel, because we are into it. Our yeah. eighth feature match. Duel let's one let's see. Definitely. Also, I, like, I didn't think about this chat. I was like, you know, what if I was playing Exodia? And I actually opened all five pieces. Which also, chat, if you're going second with Exodia and you have all five, let's just say you were to open all five pieces, do you automatically win the duel in your opponent's draw phase? Right? Like, don't you just automatically win it? Don't you just, like, stop? I have Exodia. Like, you know what I mean? Yes. Okay, that, that's what I was wondering. I was like, what if, I, what if I'm going second and I open Exodia? Like, it, it's not an effect to activate. It's, it's a condition. So I, I should just win the duel before you even play a card. Obliterate. <laughs> not going to say yeah, that like, word. Is just the infinite forbidden. If it was a good card, an infinite you forbidden. You just get accused of cheating. That Dakota is running. And his opponent, oh. no slouch. Bruce was actually one of the 16 players that competed in the world qualifying point. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah. I'm going to just fast forward. Yeah. I have this running at one and a half times speed. Yet, so it's, it's not running on regular speed. Game one, though, right, duelists see. are ready. We'll see who goes first because the solid dimensional shifter has been crushing so many of the top decks so far in this event. So he's playing I mean, shifter. I don't think it if you're going first or second, if you do happen to see the dimensional shifter. But I do want to see the Fiendsmith Snake Eye deck try to go first, and I want to see the Exodia deck come 11. Oh, I'm not a fan of rerolling one dive. That's neither here nor there. <laughs> you Open first, shifter. So far, so oh, yeah, oh, yeah <laughs> by the way, that's, that's to me, that's, that's like not a thing, chat. If your opponent rolls one die, uh, let's say your opponent rolls two dies. I'm sorry, you guys won't care about this, but like, I'm just kind of anal about this. If your opponent rolls two dice, like which is normal, and one of them like falls off the table, you don't get you don't get to like re-roll just one. Like to me, you got to re-roll both of them. If you get a six and then the other one goes off the table, you got to re-roll both. You don't get the re-roll one die. Like what's it called? Who the f 
saves one die. Well, no, I'm talking about if like, look, 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 look. Shifter, but I do want to see. So you can see the four, but like once I hand you the die back, you gotta, you have to roll both of them. You don't get the roll just one. The defensive stick I deck, try to go first, and I want to see the exotic deck power through it. I'm not a fan of rerolling one die, but that's neither here nor. Yeah, did you did you hear what Billy Break said, chat? Billy Break said, I'm not a fan of rerolling one die. Like you don't you you don't you don't get the yeah, you don't get the reroll one die, chat. Like just because you got a, a high number to try to like have an advantage with the die roll. Like, oh well I rolled a six. I don't want to reroll. No, no, that's not how it works. There is no re-rolling half. You have to re-roll both of them. You know what I mean? So like, yeah. And that's one of the things, like, I'll call a judge on that. You guys can say, oh, cat, you're sharking like how's that sharking you don't it's not roll one die we either roll in one die or we roll in two so that, that, that <laughs> yeah, is only we roll so far, oh so. yeah well you, you want to roll the we got to pick them both up you're rolling them at the same time but it's okay it looks yeah like exactly you're rolling roll. them at the same time going to go first. Okay. we talked about him being prepared going into this tournament having to have prepared for two different tournaments do you think he's prepared for this <laughs> okay <laughs> hold on chat yeah. i'm at least hoping. chat he is playing he is playing actual exodia you know why you know how i could tell because this is an exodia piece in his hand how how like how is he winning though? Press one if he just cheats. He's actually Yugi. Like I, I don't know. <laughs> like maybe he's just, I think he's just cheating. <laughs> like what? Because how do you have room for board breakers? Plus Fiend Smith. Plus like you know I, I guess Fiend Smith doesn't eat up your normal something. He's stacking all five pieces of Exodia. I mean, Snake Eyes Popular being able to add any Snake Eyes Popular Because in my build chat, like, like really you just let your opponent combo, but then you just, just, you just try to spear mode them, them or the super pop them. I still remember back at the quarter century celebration, Billy, when you and I cast together. Because you're not, you're not stopping this with hand traps that aren't shifted. You know? Unless you have, like, two, three hand traps. Pretty much the same lines. And now we're going to go into that Fiend Smith combo next. Yep, Moon of the Close guy is going to let him turn two monsters into a light Fiend monster. So you can link that link one. Fiend Smith. Do expect GG to complain about Shifter. I don't get how people can see this chat. See like the all the stuff you can do with Fiendsmith and Snake Eye. And your takeaway from this is Shifter is the problem with the format. Hello, Doctor. How are you doing today? How is uh how are things going for you? How's the uh almost daughter, you know? For anyone in the chat who doesn't know, Divine Pass is about to be a father. He's going to be a girl dad chat. So he's going to have to teach his daughter how to do snake eye combos out of the womb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what I thought. Spy Fox, that's what I, I thought that for the longest time. I thought that Divine, I thought that his like girlfriend being, pre I thought that that was just a meme chat for like the long, I was like, there's no way he's at, no, he's, this, it's real chat. It's real. They're having a baby. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a baby girl and like it, it, it's it's real like it's, this is really happening. So. Uh, it's, it's just crazy, man. Kids kids are so expensive, chat. Kids and like, who's more expensive, chat? A boy or a girl? I would. I mean, it has to be a girl, right? Like just by just by default, it has to be a girl. Cause like, what do what do boys need? What do what do you need as a boy, chat? Like for real. You need underwear, barely any clothes, and like just enough food to like barely keep you alive. Like that's all you need is a boy. And you give a boy chat any ball and it's like, all right, that's good enough, right? And just go to go play hoops. Go throw away, go throw around this football. But like girls to enter at least, I don't know, maybe I'm maybe I'm different, chat, because I was I was raised in the 90s where like we just played outside all day or you know, very cheap video games, but like, how do you entertain a girl? It's all like electronics and stuff. You know what I mean? So, um, Zara's about to come back. Why? For saying girls are more expensive than boys? Jeez, I can't have an opinion. You know, Barbie dolls. <laughs> Man, girls don't play with Barbie anymore. Like the the movie was cool and everything, chat, but like, girls not like this. This ain't this ain't the this ain't the sixties anymore. Um <laughs> stop. If uh, this will not become divine chat, they will stay together and have a happy family. 
child support, child support. Well, I, I can't, I can't, I can't do that. Like we, we have to stay together. I'm not, I'm not finna to pay $500 every month. We, we just need to stay together at that point. You know? How do you pay $1,000 in child support a month? That seems a lot. What's up, Fox? How are you? Low tier guy, tweet over. Does he have any kids? Because he seems like the type of guy chat that like has three secret kids that has some Drake shit going on. You guys know how like Drake hid his son for like the longest time and like his son wasn't discovered until he was already like four years old or something like that? Low tier God kind of seems like that. Like he, he got some kids. In this call. He's a girl dad. Bottle. He does that shit in my feed. I think this is all according okay. to plan. All right, Appaloosa. Let it all happen and then blow right through it. Okay. Yeah, was just obliterate. Exodia obliterate. That would be nice, but we do see the snake eye combo continuing. We saw the fiend smith go into sequence, bring some in fiends with lacrima. Lacrima back in graveyard. Also, chat. One thing that I've learned from watching that. Fiend Smith Desiree is like not a real card. Where is he going to go to people, people aren't making. I mean, uh, I think I was dueling against Don Chat, and Don kept making Desiree against me. And I feel like that's. I feel like I'm not gonna say that's cheating, but Fiend Smith Desiree is like not real, or at least in the sense that no one, no one like blind goes for Desiree Chat ever. Like I, I haven't seen a single person on stream do that. Um, as Sala was even saying that. That like he kept calling for Desiree to be made and people just weren't making it. So in game one, people were not like blind Desireeing. So when Don makes that against me, I'm like, you're either playing incorrectly or something, because like nobody does that. There's no space. Maybe, maybe. I, I don't I don't know exactly like how to do it, but I just know like this this guy's not wait, 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 wait a minute. Press one and shut up, Cap. They don't know the goo. Shut up, Cap. They don't know the goo. <laughs> as soon as I say no one does it, this guy, because I, I saw the th third card, I'm like, wait a minute. Isn't Desiree three cards and not two? So he actually does. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess this guy knows the goo. Yeah, two negates. I mean, I don't know what. I assume he has four bodies left. Okay, five. He has five bodies worth of materials. You can make what? IP maybe? And you already got Apple. So like what other links do you... I mean, maybe you go into Nightmare Phoenix and IP? Yeah, Nightmare Phoenix and IP doesn't sound bad. Okay, Princess. Into Flame Burge. Go for the... Uh, so I, I like the Bunny Ride. I, I play it in my Exodia deck, but... Chat, did the bunny flop? No, no one's no one's playing no one's playing the bunny. I guess this is Nightmare um, Phoenix. Yeah, no, no one no one's playing the bunny. I mean, I I think it's it's been one day. Okay, okay well, well, all right. So far, I have not seen the bunny summoned one time. I think the card is really cool. I again, I play it in my Exodia deck, chat, because it's the it it is the one link monster. That like, okay, if you shuffle it back, you still get the trap set. And the trap can still be a disruption. So I, I, I do like that. But generally speaking, I haven't seen it. Alright, hold on. Because I'm wondering, chat, like, should Exodia have just scooped? IP Master Reina hmm. here, just Desiree and Appaloosa. Interesting. I wonder if at this point He's playing it too. Look, right. This In his hand chat, this is the statue. So this Exodia guy is playing the bunny. In the tournament, Bruce knows what his opponent's on and has some kind of strategy for it. I don't know. I would, if I'm seeing a 60 card deck, I'm thinking it has to be like a tier limit strategy or something like that. He might have just seen the Brandon deck existing. Oh, yeah, okay. If you, if you are expecting to play against Brandon, what's he doing? Uh, definitely want to prioritize having the Desiree. Can't see what he actually. No IP is. Th I, I do think no IP is weird, chat. Like, if if my opponent didn't have IP, like, Dark Ruler just beats the whole board. Activated. What is it? They got yeah. oh, it's okay. Okay. That's interesting that you're going to ash the goods itself and not what it sends. Oh, no. Now he knows you're playing in Zodiac. Oh, my God. And he has one of the pieces. Okay, it looks like it's yeah. the Millennium. This, this, a, this ain't trash. <laughs> We're going to off of that with the 60-card deck. But we do see Shield of the Millennium. It's a 60-card deck. Oh, that, yeah, not the strongest hand shooter. Okay. So you tell me your strategy and then continue that. Press 1 if nice Exodia deck. Nice Exodia deck. Why, why, why would you... I just don't get why you'd show your opponent the exo like the Millennium card, get it negated, and then immediately scoop. Like what? What was what was the difference? Why not just scoop? 
Like now your opponent knows what I was doing. Six and one by the way. I, I don't know. I, I don't know why he even showed a bit. But he, apparently he's playing 60 yeah, cards. Didn't have the pieces. Wait, wait, I want to see this. Hold on. To go second. He's going to try to break the board. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. I don't think he to go second with this. I mean, you are trying to... He wanted to share. He wanted to share. He wanted to share. He wanted to share. But Judges are right there. I mean... <laughs> okay, so he's playing... He's playing Solomon the main. He's playing Shifter. He's playing Super... Like, I'm playing a lot of these cards. I'm just playing 40, like, 2-ish. He's playing uh, Dimension, um, Dimension, uh, Dimensional Fissure. <laughs> they're watching their shuffle. Yeah, unfortunately, he just didn't have the pieces he needed to he break through that board here in game number one. But that's okay. That's why we what played is, that I, I mean, I'm, he's first playing game game two. Ash, Ash Blossom, awesome Lava Gold. It was kind of like an anti game there for him. Because <laughs> I'll say this, chat. And I know you guys, like, yeah, Shifter in, Shifter in a 60 card deck. What's up, Gecko? Shifter in a 60 card deck chat is like a little weird because you kind of want to see Shifter. I think, and it's not possible, it probably will never happen. If Mystic Mind was legal, chat, I think this deck would be so good if Mystic Mind was legal. Because then you could just sit on Mystic Mind for like 10 turns and you could get your Exodia to like get to the point where he attacks one time and just wins the game. If Mystic Mind was legal, this card would be like crazy. Or th this deck would be crazy because this is the exact type of deck chat that needs, like, you could spend five cards just making sure your Mystic Mind sticks on the board. Like, I I'll droplet you for four and just, like, Mystic Mind pass. You can't kill me and then, like, eventually I'll just Exodia you. Number one. This Mystic Mind would solve the formula. We were talking about how excited we were to see this. I think he plays finally. rollback. Yeah, I still have faith. <laughs> so hold out faith, everybody at home. Everybody here far. in the venue watching. He's made it this far. We believe that Dakotas does have what it takes to pull off. The All right. Can I? Hopefully, chat. He just does. Like as long as he just doesn't get too old. But I'm not. I'm not necessarily seeing like how he went second. Because the Fiend Smith stuff didn't really do anything. But you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see, chat. We'll see. Uh, that would be AIDS if Mystic Mind was in the format. <laughs> Just play Spell and Trap Removal, Baldur. Also, would it really be... Would it really be, chat? Because wouldn't... I mean, like, if Mystic Mind was legal right now, chat, wouldn't you just... Wouldn't it force people to make Desiree? Like, you, you'd make Desiree, you'd have to Desiree the Mystic Mind. Like, I feel like that would be okay. You know what I mean? Like... And if I bait your Desiree out, then, like, get out played, scrub. Like, you shouldn't have used your Desiree then. You know what I mean? Like, Desiree would De Desiree can negate Mystic Mine. You probably have to uh, go IPSP and get rid of the Mystic Mine. Because if not, then I could just end turn and you lose. You know what I mean? Um, so you would need Desiree and SP. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You'd have to Desiree and SP it. Otherwise, if you, you know, just leave it on the field, then as soon as I end, Mystic Mind just kicks in and you lose the game. All right, let's see, chat. To show his creativity here. Why does this deck get this far? What is it designed to do? He didn't open Exodia pieces. That's good. That's already good. Okay, so okay. I want to see what this does. Any predictions in the chat? What is this? What is this? What is the point of this in the deck, chat? Is it to, is it to, like, going second, I kind of understand it because it, like, it forces stuff, right? Like, if I activate Fiend Smith Engraver, you know, you have to, like, you have to uh, Appaloosa it, or if you don't have Appaloosa, it, it, it will force something on your board, which I guess makes the, like, um, the Exodia pieces, more, like, more likely to, or mo the Exodia stuff more likely to go through. But going first, is it just make, make Rabbit? Link monster is like that. Is that the whole point? Could be saying, could be sixty cards, could be anything. You're right. So I, I well, want to see, see what's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> so congratulations. No draw. Thanks for calling that one, right? Tract is going to let him add a light fiend. The interest send a speed. flood. Probably game. not. It's going to be that fabled blurry, sir. All right, everything's pretty normal so far. Yeah. So I think two out of the ordinary. So you had asked yeah. earlier uh, what I imagine the line would be. Again, he has Unk too, I think. I think I see Unk in his hand. If you're able to get something that you choose from your deck into the graveyard, that like maybe he just doesn't act here. So if then Bruce has that same feeling. Where does Bruce want to try and interrupt this if he has something? Well, yeah. he knows that he already plays full game. Game needs right? a new so like <laughs> something very similar. Maybe sending something along <laughs> the lines. Like, I agree. So if you're holding an yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Like, I'm one of the people, chat. I look at this format, and I just see how did how much degenerate stuff you can do. And I'm like, what? why is everyone tripping over Max C when my opponent is... Have you guys watched that, chat? 
Dude, a lot of these opening turns, chat, take 14 minutes. It's like your opponent takes 14 minutes for their turn and people tripping over, tri tripping over fucking Matt C. Really? Why do us stun players get... Exactly. Like, everything is just... Everything is just to make combo as good as possible. Average sells a turn. Like, hold on. Uh, chat, look at this duel. You get 50 minutes in Yu-Gi-Oh, chat. 50 minutes in Yu-Gi-Oh. 20... Um, they are already 18 minutes into the game. The Exodia player played two cards. So don't be like, well, the Exodia guy took all... All he did was activate... Uh, Foolish Burial Goods and, and, and Millennium Shield. He didn't do anything. He, he His turn was like less than a minute, chat. All the turn was this guy doing Fiendsmith combo, which took probably 13 minutes and then probably like three minutes for siding. So like, don't don't tell me. Yeah, game one, uh, the, the Mimikyu game, the, the Mimikyu game was, game one was, I want to say about 30 minutes, chat. All right, I want to see what he's going to do. So he's linking. I guess he's going to reborn a guy. I don't think this guy's playing Prosperity either, chat. Okay. He's going to fusion by shuffling back. That's the one that reborns. Okay. Yo, hot take, chat. Hot take. This is actually good for him. Maybe, maybe, chat. Press one if this. Hey, this is the five head. You just play Fiend Smith to make your opponent hand trap it, and then you just Exodia them anyways. Cause like low key, this yeah. <laughs> That's what Celsius says. Like yo, you just play the Fiend Smith card, so your opponent has to hand trap them. Cause. If I'm an exo like I don't really care about the Fiend Smith stuff not going through. Like if you're nibbing, cool. That's that's what I want. I want my opponent to like hand trap the Fiend Smith stuff so that they don't hand trap the Exodia stuff. Okay, so Fiend Smith stuff has been hand trapped. Although I think he can still summon Engraver and just get rid of the nib anyways. So let's see if he does that. And he he, he also might play uh, Link Spider. I think he has, yeah, I think he has Ankh in his hand, chat. That's it right there. That Yeah, that's that's Ankh, is, is it not? It's the golem as well as real goods and infinite permits. Okay, the golem, the guards, the millennium treasures is pretty good. So goods can get us to that field spell again. What was it called, Billy? I know you like oh, to say. Oh, wedge you did. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, let's see. But we're gonna go for golem first. Okay. Yep. So you can place in the spell trap card zone. You can reveal the millennium. Yeah, it looks like he has Ankh from tablet form into the monster zone. And then maybe not because he just paid two k. Doesn't have to pay that two thousand life points since he already has a millennium. Oh, sorry, this one gets the field spell. Singen didn't wish on millennium. Well, he didn't reveal it. So we did not. We were not required then to use the foolish burial goods in order to try and. Get into the field spell. Okay, never mind. He did reveal Okay, it looks like I was wrong. Yeah, he has, yeah, he already has the cards. <laughs> Hopefully for the second or third time. Yeah, maybe he's just trying to make sure, like, you know, yeah. that one line of text that he wasn't familiar with. I would not hold it against any duelist, though, to be caught by That's surprise what you have by to this deck. It was not on the radar of many when we talked boards. to the top duelists coming in, when we talked amongst ourselves. I, I did not hear this mentioned once. You know who else didn't expect Exodia? Kaiba. <laughs> <laughs> A classic example. Bruce hopefully has learned from the lessons of the anime. Episode. Right, what are we doing what? here? What? That was episode one. one. I, I was episode, and I realized, no, that is. Yep, that is the first episode. Let's... What is he sending, chat? He activates Foolish Burial Goods. It, it has to be Black Goat's Lab, right? What, what else are you playing Foolish Burial Goods for? I mean, he's playing 60 cards, I think. Rainbow Bridge. That's not, that's not bad. Yeah, yeah, that's actually, yeah, yeah. Send Rainbow Bridge and get like, um, uh, Secret Village. Yeah, that's actually not bad. Hold on. Send number one. Dakota's deck chat might be no cooking. Cards, however, it does contain yeah, send Rainbow <laughs> Bridge. Really Is chat cooking? Cards. It's all the best cards you could possibly play. <laughs> Pretty much. All right, so the Fool's Real Good. Okay, so he sends, yeah, he sends Rainbow Bridge. Even though he already has the Wedgie Temple. Well, let's give him Yeah, let's give him one. No, you can't. I thought you could search any field spell. What are you talking about? I just said that. That's what I just. I'm like, yo, send Rainbow Bridge. Get get Secret Village of the Spellcasters. We, yes, you can. You can search any field spell. You know who's a spellcaster? Sure. Dark Magician. The right Direct, he's the ultimate wizard in terms, in terms of, of attack defense. defense. <laughs> Which I don't he is, does uh, need the out the nib though. Yeah, depends who you ask. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> because one one problem I see, chat, like this is how I beat Selza. By the way, I just went Exodia plus Secret Village turn one. Get Rex Scrub. But like, you want to out the nib. Because one of the outs to Secret Village that every deck plays is SP, right? You don't want your opponent to have monsters so they, they can't SP you. 
But if you make like SP, just get rid of this. Um, the bunny won't do it. I mean, I guess you could you could still go for the bunny. <laughs> You're very right. And now it looks like he is going to add. What, oh, Cobalt Eel, of course. Yeah. Evenly? Yeah. Well. I mean, the Exodia yeah. would just negate. You're less likely to draw those one ups you don't want to see. Yeah, the Exodia would just negate. You get that free monster that you can use with Wedge oh, Tempo. Oh, nice. You're right. Because you got to place a monster from your hand. I was wondering how we were going to get that. And there's the answer. Oh, we see if Gordon's in the It got two CRs. Like you're going to be able to reveal the special summon and add a Millennium Monster. So now he can go after. Okay, I'm kind of liking this chat. Nope, but he's just going to grab another copy of Sinkin Dune. What are we cooking here? Yeah. You get another one because you get, if you get another onk, the you bunny onk, trap doesn't stop. I mean, it does if you card. if you do it before. You can just negate SP Summon. <laughs> and it's in his deck. All right, I want to ask for. He's spoilers. looking for the bunny too. Later, but for now, we got the one. <laughs> and now, where are we gonna go into from here? So he's, he's going for the bunny. Yeah, there's a silver magician. Okay. Another card from the infant forbidden. A really good link to it. Secret. Press one to net deck this bum chat. As a monster. They said it to the field. They're like thirty dollars. No, no, the, no, dude, the, the bunny's like ten bucks. Like most of the stuff from info, from info is like tanked. It, 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 yeah, the, the bunny's like ten dollars. Yeah, there's many opportunities to get value from this, but that don't start setting. Oh, are you talking about the QCR? Yeah, the QCR. Yeah, yeah. The QCRs aren't even that much money though. So we're gonna have to say goodbye to the. I don't know what the token says. Please try to ash it. I, he's going to ash it. I, I guarantee he's going to try to ash so it, right? The rabbit is going to leave the field, but we are going to replace it with the Let's see if he tries to ash it. And we still get the trap, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fair trade. Let's see it. We're going to see Okay, no, no trying to ash, which you can't be. Prove here. that you have them, and then you stick them into your hand. <laughs> yeah. Okay, say it with us. One more piece. Yes, oh, where's my favorite? There it is. <laughs> Beautiful. Dude, maybe the way to play Exodia chat is 60 card Exodia. Once returns, every once per battle phase, it can gain attack equal to your life points, and that's just gonna keep on going. You can say it has an infinite amount of attack. Dark Emperor, what deck do you play? Because if you play, I think Ritual Beast maybe. Yeah, there might be some people who play Ritual Beast. I hope he's. I know he likes to use more like combo decks and stuff, but I hope he really likes the new Exodia cards. I'd love to see him back at it. Yeah, they're very interesting. The only problem, chat, is it's a hell of an investment. So this is the last monster we'll see. Cat the There's the oh, secret village. permanence and then secret village. So we're gonna lock Bruce out of spells. Okay, activate secret village. And then as well that Set continuous trap, which people might not be as aware of. Yeah, yeah angel statue actually didn't come. That card is effectively solemn warning on the field. It summons itself as a monster, but also considers a card. And its effect is able to send itself. Now he gets the board wipe. Same wording. Brain as dead. Bad. Exact thing I need to say here. Sure. I told you guys that there is there is no way to play Exodia as a combo deck, chat. This is a stun deck at its core. Look at the M the inboard floodgate, you know, Exodia, couple trap. Like this is how you play the deck. There is no way to turn this into a combo deck. It's just not possible. Like it's 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 it is a stun deck at its core. Special summon or negate. Uh, yeah, monster, <laughs> I just wish you could play yeah, skill yeah, drain, but it can't. Yes. Yeah, I, I wish you could play skill. If it could play skill drain, I'd play it, but like you can't because then your exodia is just zero and you can't win. So he's gonna set the exod fires of rage from his deck through the spell trap card zone. That card. It's hard to com yeah. That's what I'm saying. You can't combo because Ankh, like you could combo, but Ankh just gets rid of your monsters. I don't know if he's quite that big. He has cosmic in his hand too. So if he goes to battle phase and tries to attack over the exodia, he'll be able to gain eight thousand attack points. He did act, uh, activate the Azure Rune in the battle phase, so he could attempt to just attack over that if he knows that he's not going to be able to attack over yeah. the Exodia anyway. And I don't know if we mentioned I, it. I might have waited, but it's monster, fine, of course. I guess. Uh, having the spell and trap negation built into his effects, too. So. Yeah, that's a, super amazing. Yeah. I mean, kind of like double- I regret trading off my Exodia jacket. You're still there. You guys are back. You're able to protect it. Basically, Anime <laughs> night, they're all, like, commons. Exodia pieces are, are like, literally commons, man. Caveman spikes. Not like this. this well, at least, at least I bought my what's it called? Uh, normal summon breaker, the magical swordsman does get through this though. <laughs> Important. Actually, no, infinite permanence. It is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that comes with it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Exodia. Okay. <laughs> this is the yeah, last he, summon. He okay, so he trades. I think I feel good if I'm Exodia chat. So your opponent just traded Nib for this. I still wonder if he could have like went into SP and got rid of Nib if he played like Link Spider chat and then still went into the Rabbit. Exactly, he can still. Sure just wants to because like right now, chat, the only way this guy can win for the most part is if he can make SP and get rid of this. That's like the only way that is like SP. But like he does have a board wipe, so I feel like SP is kind of hard to get to. Battle. Nobody's playing. It's Exodia. What, what do you need your extra deck for? Like I get he's playing. He's playing Fiendsmith chat. How many extra deck cards does Fiendsmith require, chat? Like six, maybe? But in Exodia, the only the only requirements for Exodia's extra deck chat is three Exodias, one rabbit, one rabbit link, 
That's it. And like maybe one SP. You can you can play you can play a what's it called in the deck. You can definitely play a Link Spider. Because you, you don't need like all these other random cards in Exodia. That's why people play Prosp in the deck. Um Typhon. I mean, I wouldn't even say you need Typhon. I mean, I, I play Typhon, but like I don't think you need it. You know? But like, yeah, if you're playing Fiend Smith, that's like five cards. It's like five Exodia cards, and then you have like five flex spots. Like I would 100 percent play Link Spider. Snake We're not gonna use the infinite impermanence. No imperm. Well, it still has the effect to potentially destroy all cards the opponent controls. So I think he's going to wait for a timely use of that. I suppose that's uh, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, once, once you once you get to this point, chat, the only thing you're trying to like not have your opponent do is just SP or something. Yeah, and then you want to potentially save the infinite. You just don't want to get SP. Yeah. Could be true. Could be true. Poplar is coming down. Let's see if he does decide to use the imperm. Doesn't look like it. I mean, the poplar doesn't really do anything. The poplar doesn't do anything because he just had to spell. Probably going for the nightmare phoenix indeed. He's really upset about that cosmic cyclone in his hand. Yeah, he should probably just pop the field now after he searches. You should just call the field. But yeah, that cosmic cyclone is doing nothing, unfortunately. I'm going second. You're thinking, oh, I can try and get rid of the back. Or not. Not when that field spell hits the board. And here we go. Yeah, I think okay. Now he's going to use Imperm. We know that he has infinite Impermanence, but in case he didn't... Mm. Do what he decides to discard. As long as it's not Flame target. Burge. Oh, target. What we are aware of will not necessarily matter. Yeah, I, I guess he just waited because he has Imperm. So he's really considering his options here. He does have three of them. He's trying to read Dakota's mind. Where did he put? The, you say you don't need all the other cards, but who is six of them? would have been very strong if it wasn't for the Secret Village. Yeah. And there is Infinite Impermanence. Imperm, get down the Phoenix. Dakota had everything that he needed to completely stop Bruce's And now whatever extender he has. Yes. Oh, very it's very game. Crazy. It's game. It's game. Press one of Get Rex Scrub. It's game. So if you guys don't know, once you get to this, once your opponent starts setting cards, chat... They're basically declaring they're going to end phase, right? And like, it, what you just blow up their field in the end phase, and then you activate, you get the um, the spell that puts all the Exodia pieces, and then your Exodia gains ten thousand attack plus the uh, life points. So like, you just win, unless no, even if they play Gores, like they have to play specifically like Battle Fader chat. Yeah, they, they have to have like a Battle Fader. Battle Fader is like the one card that would like stop stop them. <laughs> If they battle fader you, you lose. <laughs> or yeah, they have to have like Karibo or some shit like that. Chat. If they play those cards, like God bless, bro. You go, deserve go first it. Is definitely where he wants to be with this deck. But you know, going, if he does win this game, oh. goes in game three. The psychic might help him going second, but it's a pass. And will we actually get the trap? Yeah, just yeah, activate because I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to lose to like a forbidden droplet, chat. Like I wouldn't want to lose to specifically a card. Well, no, no, he can't droplet me because of this. But if you if you want to activate the the the, uh, the Exodia card that gives you the pieces, you have to blow up your secret village. So like, just blow up the field during the end phase. Now destroy everything. So now he can also grab the new card, Obliterate Blaze, if he wants. I would love to see him win with a Attack of the Obliterate Blaze. So this card, okay, it gives so him an effect to it. the Exodia monster. So it gives him the effect to where he can destroy all spell and trap cards on the field to equip all five pieces of Exodia to, to the Unstoppable Exodia Incarnate, and mm -hmm. he gains 2,000 attack for each piece. Which happens to be 100 more than he needs. Exactly. I mean, there's the Nightmare Phoenix out there, but he will be 10,000 attack that will do 8,100 damage, and he can still destroy I don't know why he's not blowing the... Okay, okay, there, there you go. And there we go. Blow the field up. Path to victory for Dakota going first. Really now you just activate... What's the it way that the deck played, the way the deck played. Exodia Goo! So since he drew, oh, he has a secret village already anyway to destroy, so he can activate Obliterate Blaze and then activate the Arc Incarnate Effect to destroy everything and equip those pieces. Yeah, you so just like he's considering his options. Maybe he wants to get that <laughs> Sin that wakes from a Millennium onto the field first. Yeah, you have to pay a thousand life points. Oh, he has to pay a thousand during standby phase, I believe. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. How will he recover? No, no, He's a guy. This is so <laughs> bad, <-chasty. laughs> This is, just, this is like, identical to how I beat Cells. So, like, you don't... Exodia on the crackback is very oh. strong. Just to summon another one? Are you summoning the second one? They're already in position. They really are. Okay, we got the head first this time, but one more piece. There it is. Okay, now I don't think you actually. I don't think he needs the equip now. Because hold on. Is, ex is, is the second effect to gain attack a hard once per turn? Is she, I'm going to assume it's not. Yeah, assert dominance, cat. Hold on, hold on. Let me see. It shouldn't be a hard once per turn. Because then he'd be gaining 7,000 twice. All right. Uh, what's it called? Cannot be destroyed by card effects once per turn if this card... Nope, it's... Hold on. Once per turn if this card battles during damage cal. Uh, make this card gain attack once per turn. What's it called? Wait a minute. The negate's not a hard once per turn either? I didn't even know that. Yeah, chat, there's no hard once per turns on this card at all. There, yeah, there's none. Okay, yeah, you just win. You don't even now you don't even activate the spell. 
You just whistle. You just attack, activate effect, damage cow, attack, activate. Your opponent has to have gores. You, they they either have to have too. gores go. or something like that. Yeah. Back, you might as well. The yeah. Ankh on goes back with the pieces into the deck. <laughs> That's crazy. What's better than one Exodia? Two Exodias! <laughs> oh, man. Shuffling the deck up. Catch us. I imagine we're going to have to go find those pieces again. Because they're all going to get equipped. He, he wants to get his value out of this. How would Gory sell? <laughs> he's, he's milking this one. Uh, well, you would call like So after the, the first attack is 7,000, you have to drop gores and put both monsters in defense mode to like block the set. I wish... I wish, Chet, that this Exodia, and maybe this is asking too, I wish it had just one more effect. I wish that it had, um, he's at 68. How? Why did he take damage? Oh, he took, the, oh, he took damage from the, um, oh, my bad. He took, yeah, he took damage from the, the, the stupid Fiendsmith card. My bad, Chet. I'm, I wasn't thinking, I'm not, I'm not used to, yeah, yeah, he took, he took damage from the stupid Fiendsmith card. I, I didn't think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Press one if um actually five hundred IQ. I ne I never thought about that. So instead of needing to do eight thousand, you only have to do seven thousand. Which that's interesting. Maybe that maybe that thousand damage matters because I I'm not I'm not used to doing any burn damage. But yeah, he took random ba burn damage from the feet so from the, the pieces, card. But that's okay. We're gonna be able to gain yeah. seven thousand attack that's each. Fine. Yeah. And he's gonna yeah. go <laughs> two punches from two Exodias, and he's going it would to be a fair, you see the uh, well. I don't I don't want it to be an Omni Negate Dolan. I think it shouldn't be targetable. I like, I guess it's like this. Chat, why? I feel like this card should be at least as strong as Dragoon. Do you guys think, chat, is, is that fair? Like, obviously, it's nowhere near as strong as Dragoon, right? It only negates a spell and trap, and then its attack goes up, you know, battle. Fight. I feel like it should be, like, a rival to Dragoon, where I think Konami should have gave it one more effect, um... To where either it could negate spells and traps twice, or it should, I don't know, like, be able to banish a card from your opponent's graveyard or some shit. Like, they should have just given it one more effect chat. Like, targeting protection. Honestly, I'd, I'd rather have a re another disruption effect than that. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather have, like, a during your opponent's turn, you can just, like, banish two cards from their graveyard or some shit, you know? smile there from yeah. Bruce. Yeah. It already has five of it. Who cares? It needs to be as good as Dragoon. Like, Dragoon is a win condition unto itself. And you can say maybe Exodia is two, but it should just have, like, one more effect. That's all I'm saying. Where maybe it should just be immune to spells. You know? Like, so my opponent can't Dark Ruler it. I complain when you lose to Exodia. But he also knows he's smiling because maybe... Just making an Omni? Making it an Omni doesn't really make it that much better, Dolan, to be honest. Like, yeah, making it an Omni, because, like, people going, assuming you don't have Secret Village, like, people are going to force that negate out. They, they just are. Like, they'll force it out with Wanted, they'll, for, they'll force it out with OSS. Like, I know I'm only looking at it, chat, through the context of this specific format, but there's there's too many good spells in Yu-Gi-Oh!, or they'll impermit, like, they'll, they'll force out the, the negate. You know what I mean? Making it a monster negate makes it, like, a little better. But I'd rather just have another effect on top of it. He's going first in game three? <laughs> yeah, pretty comfortable. Like, just making it, instead of, make, guy, instead of making it monster negates, give me two spell and trap negates. I'll take that. Where I can negate your wanted poster plus your, uh, your, um, uh, your temple of the uh, snake eye. If, if you give me both of those negates, I'm going to win duel. Do that like then, then yeah, I, I mean, wouldn't do it. I'm Dakota. I'm just 60 cards, and it looks like he's clearly focused right, on that was, that, that was pretty. That was pretty nice. That was basically just basic Exodia stuff, that's... chat. Yeah. Right, let's see if game three. Yeah. How are we going second? That, that made me feel pretty good about Exodia, by the way, chat. Even if the player, one of these players loses one, that means they have six wins, one loss. All right. Being seven and one with one round. How do we win this game? Cards that can help us win going second with Exodia, because everyone's going to say Exodia can't go second. Raw Spear Mode. Um, Lava Golem, Super Poly, Shifter, Mochummy, and then maybe Phantasme, like, if you Phantasme into, like, Spear Mode, you know what I mean? Like, we don't, no, you can, you can, like, what's it, or, or yes, or yes, just draw all five pieces of Exodia, forehead, just draw Exodia. That is also the, like, one in 1,000 duels, like, it'll, it'll, if you play this deck long enough, chat, it will eventually happen. You just open with Exodia. Is Dark Ruler not... I mean, possibly. Because, like, this guy made Desiree turn one. But he also didn't make any other ways to, like, chain. Because most people go, like, Desiree chat. And they'll have, like, Black Goat Labs. And the... What's it called? So, like, 
Dark Ruler, maybe, but you can't kill under Dark Ruler, so. Round to go for day one. Will feel good. Even uh, if the player, see. one of these players loses round, which one will, unless they draw. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he opened two pieces of Exodia. Oh, my God. He opened two pieces of Exodia. How? He opened two in a 60 card, like... This is why this boss monster needs to be better. This is why this boss monster needs to be better, chat. He opened two pieces of Exodia. Like, you usually can deal with one, two. Like, you just auto-lose the game. There's there's no way to win now. You just auto-lose the game. Still solid with only a few rounds to go in the tournament. Be my... Yeah, you just auto-lose the game. Just GG. This deck fucking sucks. <laughs> it's more possible. Yeah, that's what we, we haven't seen any of that today. Yeah. Where someone just opens their hand. Imperm. Okay, he basically is imperming, and you pray to God imperm stops him, which is not gonna do. He just activates Fiend Smith or what's it called? Press one if top deck reload, reload uh, the other three cards into the deck and draw Exodia. That, that's what she use. Activate, reload off the top, and then reload into Exodia. I don't know. I see a lot of this happening. Mulligan. The player has passed. And I don't know if that's going to be another case of those. Because normally, when you do leave with Munfair, you get the pop bar to try to cross out. Roll. I think it's your cross out designator in hand. So there is at least a way to play through this. Yeah, you can just like cross it out. You can play through the imprint without the cross out. Hold the cross out for a yeah, maybe secondary. Yeah, Biru or something like that. I mean, he. He does have the Diabelle shard in his hand. He doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't need to. Yeah, he just plays through it. Oh man, I see a couple man. pieces. Of he really open two pieces. Oh no! Oh, and the, the rainbow, rainbow bridge. bridge. Oh, no. oh my oh, god! Man. He opened three. Chad, he opened three bricks. So he opened two Exodia pieces, and he opened Rainbow Bridge. Like I don't. And then I think he has the shield. So like, yeah, that. <laughs> this should not have happened though, because the argument is like he's playing sixty. So the like I I, I kind of get the logic chat of playing sixty cards to like oh well if you play sixty you'll never draw the brick because the cards you don't want to draw in this deck chat are the Exodia pieces and then if you play something like a uh, Rainbow Bridge you never want to draw that but like in a sixty card deck you should never draw those like uh, never in multiples uh, but like you can't you can't win but the even if you went first you lose. Original sinful spoils things aren't looking good here for Dakota. How much going second What's stuff is he playing? Uh, all right, so we saw his main deck. Uh, Gecko. His main deck had Shifter. His main deck had Lava Golem. His main deck had Super Poly. Um, I don't think he played Spear Mode. But he was also playing D Fissure, which I don't think is a going second card. But he played at least those three. If I was playing 60 chat, I'd play three Lava Golems, three Spear Mode, three Shifter. Um, I'd, I'd play Machumi too, because like, why not? I'd play three Machumi. So that'd be at least 12 cards. And I am i don't think I'd play Phantasmic, but I would definitely play Mochomi. Because Mochomi's good. I don't think so. I think it's it might be Millennium. Millennium. Mm. Which is a good card, but on its own going second, not a Did lot. I miss Ancient Gear? I mean, if Ancient Gear is up, no, no, no we'll, we'll watch Ancient Gear now. Bruce is going to be putting on the field. I'm just, I'm mad because... The case now original is gonna summon. So we were, wa we're watching this Exodia feature match, right? And game one, you know, he got, he got kind of smoked, which he shouldn't have shown his opponent his cards. Game two, he opened incredibly well, and he obliterated his opponent. But then game three, he opens three bricks. And, like, I don't know if I can judge this duel chat because opening three bricks in Exodia, like, yeah, you're going to lose. I just, I wonder if he if he would have opened a quote-unquote playable hand chat if he could have won. You know what I mean? Apparently, there was an illegal, there were, excuse me, there was illegal plays in the Ancient Gear match. That's, that's not that's not too hard to believe, so there there's been I mean there there are a lot of illegal plays in the Mimikul duel. Uh the player apparently searched Flame Burge off of Hita, which is not legal, I guess. Um I I, I could have swore chat that the Mimigul player drew a card in the same turn that he used um that he used prosperity in. So I'm starting to wait, what? Hold on, what? Are you telling me this guy got the full combo and ended on SP pass? What the fuck? How? Yeah, we feel that. At least he knows these lines, right? He's used to being interrupted. Yeah, he needs to shake off the mistake and keep on going and do it. What even, ha he sh no, what even happened? 
Chat, how do you, how do you have all of these cards and you end on SP Pat? Like, what the fuck even happens? Is this not like full Snake Eye combo, or is Cap just like, am I tripping? Well, oh no, oh. he forgot. Nope. Oh my god. He used Ash Effect after it was impermed. Bro, these Snake Eye... Press one if these Snake Eye players are actually bots. These Snake Eye players are actually bots, chat. Like, what? I can understand drawing under Prosperity because it's possible to forget. I mean, I was watching the duel and I instantly... I instantly was like, yeah, you can't draw under Prosperity. Um... Bro, these players are, like, these Snake Eye players are bots. He, he has, I'm like, how do you, how do you not full combo? He does the one thing you can't do. It's negated. It, uh, it's negated by Imperm. If anyone is listening that can hear us on stage, infinite Imperm is negated Snake Eye Ash Effect, it cannot resolve. Please, someone listening, go tell them. This makes this even worse, chat, because if this Exodia player drew remotely playable, like, he could just activate Ankh and win the duel. I know there's people listening. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh oh. Oh, a huge mistake. Uh -oh. This is the only thing that Dakota needed. Yeah. I'm, I'm so mad. Chat. I'm so. Uh, Any juice for about that one. Not way too comfortable. I'm so mad. What have I done? And what are the other options? There's a draw lockbird in hand. It's, it's not over. All you have to do is make the animal use the pop effect, put the Snake Eye Devils back on the field. And then, then you just go from there. Oh, go feed to combo? I guess, but it's, yeah. It's not as good as it could be. It's not as good as it could be, but it's still playable. Okay, so. Let's see. Yeah, we feel that. That would have resolved. No, no, it, it would have resolved. Yeah, if, you, if it wasn't a feature match, it would have resolved. Yeah, he needs to shake off the mistake and keep on going and do what he can from here. Yep, just play tight from this point on. Ooh, I don't know if I would ever put the Ash back there. I want to summon that back off the Princess. Hopefully he's not too flustered to get back into this game. Oh, no. Just going for SP Did he side them out? Siding out the Fiendsmith cards. I have heard of some people doing that, but oh, wow, just no. SP Pass. Oh, no. oh, he played around the <laughs> Winged Dragon's Fear Mode. <laughs> All right, so he's going to put Sin and Dinwix from a Millennium. Okay, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, is, 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 to take it out of Talonform uh -huh. and make it a monster. Is this, is this actually winnable for Exodia chat? Because, like, he drew Spear Mode, which was is crazy if your opponent combos, but not if they end on SP Pass. Now he has the ability to use the Divine Temple. Like, to can, yeah, yeah is, this, is this, like, is this somehow winnable? <laughs> Hilariously, that would then re-enable. <laughs> like, how is this duel winnable, bro? Do we know what the set, oh, set is? The oh, we are getting finally get hit with the goal. This duel. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, we got drolled. No. What do you mean? Okay, so I guess you just go battle phase then, right? If we got drolled, don't you just attack and pass? And pray to God your opponent does open, like, draws a hand trap? You can summon the leg and just start kicking Bruce. <laughs> I love it. Yes, leg. Attack with the leg. No, oh, just no, 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 no. Don't, don't summon anything. No, no, no. Wait, wait. He could summon because I was thinking, chat. If you summon, they get Ash, but he's under Droll, so it doesn't matter, right? So, yeah, I guess you could summon because if your opponent summons Ash, like who cares? They don't get the search. They're under Droll. Here. I, interesting. He could have done Temple then Droll, but I guess he doesn't get the search on yeah. Snake Eye Ash that way. Yeah. So like, I'm, I'm, I might no. summon my own SP. He does original in the graveyard, so he's fine if he doesn't make it to his turn. So what can Dakota do with these two monsters? Because you can still place the golem if you want special summon, I believe. Getting rid of that rainbow bridge is not terrible either. I don't know if like going for a nightmare right? phoenix. Is not all part of one if he plays that. I have it right here. No, then you can okay. add one like a temple. Right, we're just. <laughs> I believe he set the rainbow bridge. Yeah. Yeah. We're hoping our opponent just yeah. draws yeah. effect yeah. veiler chat or infer. You do something. Oh no 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 no. This was not Dakota's fault, chat. His opponent, like, he just bricked, bro. If you look at the six cards he opened with, chat, he, he opened with two Exodia pieces, one Rainbow Bridge that's stuck in his hand, and then he drew Spear Mode, which Spear Mode's awesome if your opponent combos, but when your opponent ends on SP Pass, like, Spear Mode's terrible. Like, you want them to combo then, but his opponent just doesn't know how to, like, Play Snake Eye, I guess. I don't know. This is gonna be off the draw. No, he has the original in the graveyard. True, true, true. Mm -hmm. oh, that's a good one. That's a really good draw. Oh, very good draw. Wow. Slam it down. Never punished. Wow, him not making the big board actually hurt Dakota since he wasn't able to secure. Yeah. Yeah. Never yeah. punished. All part of the plan. All part of the plan. Uh, this is all according to plan. Yep. Press one if never <laughs> punished, cat. Never, never punished. Bruce gives a little chuckle as Dakota I'm just better. Than, I'm just the better the player. That he finds himself in. Look Rain Rainbow Bridge is set on the field. I think. I wonder if it would have been worth it summoning ex summoning an Exodia piece and banishing because they say he has OSS in the graveyard. Like you could banish the OSS chat if you make SP. Um, you would have to make like Anima 
with your Exodia P. Like that might be worth it. Cause if you're if you're if you, if you leave your opponent with OSS and they get Snake Eye Ash, you just lose. Looking at that hand, just draw that combination. Rainbow of cards, Bridge, yeah, the like, Crystal Beast card. Uh, yeah, I think you have to do something. You have to use one of the cards in hand to try and go into Fiendsmith combo and, and, and at least okay. get some kind of field. But it's tough to know in those situations. He could have opted for this decision and is now going to be on the receiving end of a I mean, second Snake Eye combo. This one will not be stopped. Yeah. So level one, the reason, the reason, the reason that he's playing, what's it called? The reason, if you're wondering, like, why is he playing the uh, Crystal Beast card? Um, it's the same reason the Horus deck played it, but it's probably worse than this deck. You can... He's playing Foolish Burial Goods, so you just dump it to the graveyard, you add the Crystal Beast, and then you um, you add either the Shrine, which is the Millennium Field spell, or you add Secret Village, Secret Village of the Spellcasters. So, I mean, that, that's basically it. In the Horus deck, it was way better, because Horus had a bunch of discard outlets. Like, you could discard it for Imseti... You could discard it for Gold Sarcophagus, or excuse me, King Sarcophagus. So like in the Horus deck, it was way better. But in, in this deck, it's like, it's it's decent. It's just, it's not as good. What's up, BP? Um, that's good. I mean, yeah, it, it's kind of, but he's playing 60 cards. So like, ideally, you never want to draw it. You want to draw the, um the what's it called? Like, I, ideally, you're supposed to have, if you're playing three copies of a, uh, if you're playing three copies of Foolish Goods, you have, you know, three times as much chance to, to draw the foolish goods what's it called i still think he should play black goats laugh in this deck because i would i would want a second target for my foolish goods and black goats laugh is like really good especially if you're going second you know you can either call nightmare phoenix you can call sp little knight those are like the two cards that out your floodgates um if your opponent can't out your floodgates with exodia you just win because you just kill them on the crackback you know what i mean um, it was insane in Oh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Foolish Goods is insane in tier because you just, like, when, when they go second, they activate Foolish Goods. Um, they don't even go for, like, Soliac and stuff. They just, uh, drop Black Goat Slap in the graveyard and then they, they turn off your Appaloosa. So, what's it called? I'm, I'm so mad, Chad. I'm, yeah, I'm mad that he bricked. Because now it's like, yo, can we tell? Is Light and Darkness Dragon good in Exodia? Uh no. <laughs> no anime night. You can get the you can get the monsters on field easily enough. Like any any of these two millennium monsters give you tribute for lad, but then like you're just playing lad, but you could just play like dragon light and darkness. Like it, it wouldn't be good. You know what I mean? Like light and darkness dragon, I think it's still a good card, but it wouldn't be good it's in this. Just because you could summon it, but you would you wouldn't have like any follow up or anything like that. What's the Snake Eye player's set card? I don't know what that card is. And uh, I think as soon as you see the hey, Rainbow Bridge, <clears throat> we probably feel pretty good. Yeah, sure, Bruce. It's better than the graveyard for Dakota, but he needs to survive. <laughs> if only this card. could search in the beer, chat. That is, if right. only this could search in the beer. There are four mysterious, powerful cards in Dakota's hand. <laughs> Two of them are so strong they're forbidden. <laughs> <laughs> no, I believe they're limited. Uh, yeah, uh, if yeah, if yeah, if Rainbow yeah, Bridge yeah. could like search in the beer, that'd be <laughs> that'd be cool. How has Nats been so far? Uh, I've watched most of. I mean, most of the duels have been fairly interesting. I thought the uh, I thought the White Forest Runic duel was pretty cool. If any of you guys saw that one, it kind of made me want to. Oh shoot, he's going for access code. It kind of made me want to mess around with the deck chat. To be honest, yeah, the uh, the White Forest. Um, with, yeah, he's also at six thousand life points, chat. Um, the White Forest Runic uh, duel made me kind of want to mess around with the deck. Um, this Exodia duel was interesting, but in game three, the Exodia player just like, he giga bricked. These cards are vanillas too. They don't do anything on the field unless I'm, unless I'm mistaken. These, these, all the Millennium monsters are vanillas. And then the new ones are terrible or not, not the new ones chat, but they made two of the Millennium monsters. They made two of them, uh, illusion monsters, which I don't really understand. Like, Two of the two of the Millennium cards, Chad. I don't really understand like the design of them. Like, what what's the purpose supposed to be? Forty three hundred to twenty seven fifty. With the twelve hundred from the lacrimal, yeah, that probably do. is enough. So fifteen fifty for the first set. Four four fifty. Eighteen. Clearly, none of us are math majors or math teachers. I trust that he sees that's enough. We I think it would be hilarious years. if it wasn't though. Can you <laughs> imagine? Think of the story. Uh, he's at Hopefully, his bosses don't see it. <laughs> or students. He's at 250. Yep, after the attacks. Off. And here we go. Links them away for Avalusa, the four materials. Lacrimosa. Yep. Lacrimosa. There we go. Lacrimosa is going to do 1200. 
and that is enough. He's gonna reveal that. Bro, how to how to play like as badly as humanly? Oh my god! Press one if sometimes you hate this game. I'm not trying to go in on this guy, chat Bruce M. I'm sure he's a nice guy and everything, but like how to how to play like as bad as you? Why why did Op or why did Access Code not just banish the fire monster? Or hold on, is Nightmare Phoenix not fire? Like, why don't you just... Can it not be destroyed by card effects? Maybe I'm tripping. Wait, wait, let me see something. Because his opponent was only at 6,000 damage, chat, and he, like, couldn't do 6,000 damage. Oh, my goodness, this card can't be destroyed by monster effects? Oh, I guess I was tripping, chat. I didn't even know that. This random card... You can't access code this card. I, chat, I did not know that. Wow. Okay. So if Fiendsmith didn't have random burn damage, she actually would have lived. Cannot be destroyed by monster effects. Yo, maybe I should read these cards. Hold on, hold on. Cannot be destroyed by spell. <laughs> these cards have these. I apologize. I apologize. I did not know that this, because I'm like, why didn't you just access code, pop it, and attack for game? Access code with one bomb. Okay. He probably, you know what? He probably tried. He did. Because his, his, his Nightmare Phoenix is banished, chat. He did. He, he tried to access code it, and then he realized it couldn't be destroyed by card. I just, I don't like that. He played Chet as bad as humanly possible and just was never punished at all. He tried to pop a card that couldn't be destroyed by card effects. He he used an, uh, a Snake Eye Ash that was negated. It's like the only way you could throw the game, and his opponent opened four bricks. It's like, yo, fun game. Fun game. Never, I, that's what I mean. Never punished. These cards have more protection than Ex Well, Exodia has that too. Unfortunate. Just threw in a couple pieces of Exodia in a 60 card deck. But what a fantastic match. Yeah. We did get to see two unstoppable Exodia cards come down mad. in game two, but unfortunately not enough to win. I'm I'm so mad, chat. Anyways, Illusion was the type in the manga. Wait, wait, Illusion was a type in the manga. Um, so now they're readapting older cards to be a wait, wait, wait. Are you so so BP, are you saying? That the cards were like technically always illusion to begin with. Is that what you, is that what you're saying? Like they, if if they would have existed in like DM and we had illusion, that they would have been illusion to like to begin with. Yes. Okay. 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 Because because like if you guys have looked at the Millennium cards chat, the first three ones like the the, the ones that are like decent, they they kind of do stuff like the this one searches the field spell. This one searches monsters, and this one searches Ankh. It's like, all right, these three cards actually do something. But then you look at, like, these two, and it's like, they're just awful. You know? Like, okay, forget about the illusion stuff. Like, what's your actual effect? If your opponent activates a card or effect while this card is a continuous spell, you can special summon this card. And it's like, okay, cool. It's going to be a disruption. It's going to, like... Blow my opponent's field up, right? It's going to banish a card that they control, right? Your opponent cannot target level 5 or higher illusion and spellcaster monsters you control with card effects. It's... What? So you get shitty targeting protection that only lasts for one turn? Really? Like when I read that, I was like, oh, it's going to banish my opponent's field or something. It's going to do something crazy. Oh, wow. It gives me targeting protection for one turn. Which doesn't protect itself, by the way, because it's level five or high. Like, there's.